how to create a responsive text for a responsive UI. And therefore we will look here at different examples to have more control over your texts and that the text is changing its font size depending on your screen device size. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by a simple responsive text and later we will look at more complex examples. First of all, we like to look at how a normal text widget behaves. So I'm running this application with Flutter Web and if I change here the dimension, you see that the text is simply going to the next line. However, there is no real responsiveness inside. And if I change the text right now to one line, then you see that the text is behaving differently. So there is some text disappearing if the text is overflowed. Alternatively, you also could set this overflow property. And now every time if there's an overflow, you see these three dots at the end and the user sees then directly that it is not responsive. To make our text responsive, we simply wrap it inside of a fitted box. And secondly, we also will put here a container around and I put here right now a color inside so that we see the text boundaries. However, the most important thing is that you also set here a height of this text. And now we have here a text which tries to expand to the height of 100. And if we change then the screen size, then it is also responsive. Secondly, we also can create here another text. And this time we set here not the height property, instead we set the width property. And like you can see, the second text is also responsive and is trying always to get the whole width of the screen. And if you don't like it, you can also change it here, for example, to 50% of the width of the screen. And then you have here a text which has 50%. And it is always trying to expand its size if the size of the screen is changing. To work only with the fitted box and with the width and height property is pretty limited and therefore we want to use this auto size text package and with this one you can automatically resize your text to the available space. To make use of this auto size text package we create here an auto text widget and this widget behaves pretty similar to the text widget which you know from Flutter and here you need to set mandatory a text inside and also a max lines. And I put here max lines to one. And I also change here the text font size. And if our view is here extended, then we have here a font size of 48, which we have specified. However, if we shrink our view a bit, then you see that our text is responsive and is always changing. And to make use of this auto size text, you need to go to your pubspec jaml file. And here you need to add this auto size text under your dependencies inside. For demonstration purposes, I also put here right now a container around and every time we have a background color and also the width to the whole size of our screen. And now we simply create here another auto size text and this time we put here max lines to two. And if it is extended, both of the texts have the same size. However, if I now change it, then you see that the second text is not changing its size because it displays a text for two lines. And only if we reach the two lines, then it is changing also its size for the last part. Sometimes you don't want that the text becomes too small and that the user cannot read it anymore. And therefore you also have here this property min font size and max font size. And now our text has here a size of 48 and it shrinks here to the size of 32. And after this, if the text is still overflowing, then you see that there are some parts going away and it's simply hiding. So it behaves like a normal text widget. And again, like before, you also can set this overflow inside and this will then show three dots at the end if there is any overflow. If our text is overflowing, you can also decide to simply show another text instead and this is then replacing it. And we also will look at how you can simply shrink your text till a specific size and if it is then not fitting anymore, then you simply replace it by another text. To replace our text by another text, we simply need to add here first of all the min font size to 32 and secondly, you set here this overflow replacement. And this is basically if there is an overflow, then you can show another widget. So in my case, I show again a text. However, this time it is here this short text instead of this long text. And you also can give your text then a normal style. 
And now you see that the text is keeping its same font size. And if there is later this point where comes this overflow, then he will simply switch to this other text, which is within our overflow replacement. And I have set here the min font size to the same size which we have put here within our style inside. So both of them have a value of 32. However, we also can create a second example. And here our initial font size is 32. And we also put here a min font size inside of 20. And now you can see what happens to this blue text. So first of all, it is changing its font size. And until this font size of 20, it is changing its font size. And then if it is reaching this 20 pixels, then it is changing to this shorter description. And then it is simply displaying here this overlay replacement. We also want to look at how you can change your font size by defining the font size on your own. So you define this font size and then later if there's an overflow, you also have to find this font size and also you can set as many things as you want here inside. Therefore, you have here within your auto size text this property preset font sizes and here you can set a list of all the font sizes which you want to have. And now our UI tries to display here the biggest font size first and if this is not working, then it tries to get here the next font size and the next one. So by default, we have here 48 pixels for our font size. And if I change it here and there is then this overflow, then you see he is changing to 40 pixels. And if I go again to this overflow, then you see he is changing to 32 pixels. And after this, he will stay at 32 pixels and will behave like a normal text widget. We also want to look at a second example and this time our text is shorter. And therefore I have set here the shorter text inside and again the preset font sizes of what we had before inside. However, if I now change the size of this window, you see that the other text is changing. However, the title will always stay the same size, but maybe you also want to change the title font size. And therefore you can simply wrap here around your auto size text a container and here inside you set then a width. And here, for example, you can set that he should take the full width of your screen and only 30% of it. And now combined with these pre-font sizes, he will always try to extend here to 30% of the width, like you can see in this blue area. And if we then go over to this overflow, then he will change to the next size and is also showing this title in a smaller font size. And again, if there is an overflow, he will again change to the smaller size. There's only one small problem. So if I change here to a smaller size and then I become more smaller and even more smaller, you see that we don't have supported this text anymore. And then we see here these three dots. And therefore you can also go to your container and here you can basically set some constraints. And then you set here the size of this text to minimum 180 pixels. And now he is also changing again to a smaller font size. However, this time he is staying then at 180 pixels in width. So this is 180 pixels. And if we become even more smaller, you see there is nothing changing anymore. Next to setting a list of font sizes, you also can use steps and this works pretty similar. So you also can change here by different kind of steps your font size. And therefore you need to set within your auto size text, first of all, mandatory a min font size. And also I set here a max font size of 40. And this will now gradually change here our text and make it responsive. However, what we want to have is some jumps. And therefore you can also set here the step granularity inside. And here you define that it always should change the font size by 10. And this means that the biggest font size is 40, the smallest font size is 20. And thirdly, you also have all the text sizes which are between this max size and the min size and every time minus 10. And this looks then like this. So first of all, we have here a font size of 40. And now if there is this overflow, then he will switch over to 30. And this is because we have defined here the font size to 40 and we are decreasing here by 10 pixels. And now he has reached here 30. And now if we change here again our UI and there is again this overflow, he will change then to 20 because he will decrease it again by 10. And then he will reach here this minimum font size of 20. 
We also can put here for example 60 inside and now our biggest font size is here 60 and then every time it is changing by 10 so it's going here to 50 then it's again changing by 10 so it's going to 40 to 30 and at the end to 20. And it is also important to notice that the min font size needs to be a multiple of our steps granularity. So for example if you define here 7 then you will receive here this error. And therefore always make sure that you use here multiple, for example 5, because 5 multiplied 4 is 20, or you can also use here 10, because 10 multiplied 2 is 20, and therefore this is working. Sometimes you want that your font sizes behave the same, and therefore you have here groups, and if you then set both of these texts to the same group, then you see that both of them will have the same font size. And this is because all the text within a group try to get the smallest font size of all the group members. And this is what we want to look at right now. Therefore we get here started with two different auto size texts. The first one has here a size of 32 and the second one has here a font size of 48. And after this you put this auto size group inside of both of these auto size text widgets within the group field. And you also do the same thing for the other one. Here you also put this auto size group inside. And I have also created right now a switch to toggle between this auto size group and not auto size group. And if it is activated it tries to get then the smallest font size of this group. And in our case we have here the first group member and the second group member and it tries to get then the smallest font size. So here we have 48 and here we have 32. And now also the second auto size text widget will get here the size of 32 because this is the smallest font size within our group. And if you remove again this group then it is behaving again normal and you have here 48 pixels for the second text and 32 pixels for the first text. And lastly we can also make rich text responsive and rich text have like different kind of fonts inside of the same text. To create a responsive rich text you first of all put here this auto size text rich inside. And then you can define here a text span and within this text span you can then define the rich text. And this behaves like the normal rich text widget within Flutter. And basically within our rich text we have here four different kind of texts. And each of the text has a different text style. So for example this rich text text has here 60 as a font size. And this other text here which is really small is for example italic. And therefore I have set here this font style to italic. And now we want to make this rich text responsive. Therefore I put here first of all the minimum font size inside and also the maximum font size. And in our case the maximum font size is 48 pixels. And like you can see not all the text have here now the same text size. So this is a little bit bigger. And this is because we have defined here initially the font size to 60. And because this font size is bigger than the other text bands, therefore it is also later bigger if it is responsive. And like you can see our text is now responsive, it is changing. However this text will always stay a little bit bigger. And this is because the auto size text widget will automatically determine the right percentage for all the texts. And this means if I for example change here this rich text text for example to 90. Then you see that the rich text becomes even more bigger than the other texts. And also if our text is responsive then the rich text is always slightly bigger. And by the way if you want to get here this whole source code you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and 